check it out today I've got a huge and fun update for you guys I'm bringing back the side shell destructible vinyl sticker line this has been a super long time coming so I went all in with the holographic colors the black color and the traditional white that I had in the past if you're unfamiliar with destructible vinyl stickers these are basically as permanent of a sticker as it can get when you apply it to a surface, it's next to impossible to get off because when you go and try to grab that edge, it kind of just breaks off and flakes away and leaves the rest of the sticker there. Not to mention, these are vinyl stickers, so they're a plastic base and they're going to hold up great out in the elements. They're not going to wither or weather with the natural elements. I've had stuff riding for a couple years now, no issues at all. And not to mention, these new finishes on these stickers are going to bump up the quality on those looks just so much more. To reiterate what I mean by destructible vinyl, here's a quick demo of an old durability test I ran. So when you apply it to a surface, it bonds really nicely, but the material is actually rather weak, and that's where the destructible name comes in. So because the sticker has weak bonds with itself, the adhesive on the back of the surface keeps all the rest of the sticker stuck when then you try and get a piece up. This allows just barely slivers to get pulled up, and even if you go at it at a key or a scraper, you're only getting that small pass each time. This makes it super hard to remove the sticker from a surface, so if you're looking for that permanent application, this is really as good as it gets for a sticker. Now some people might be concerned about how easy is it to actually peel the sticker if it's so fragile when you do actually try to peel it off a surface. Well I'm super aware of that and I've always gone for an extra thick backing on the back of the stickers. So these are going to be really nice even if you keep them in your pocket or whatnot. And they're also going to peel super easy because of that backing. You're going to have a nice area to hold on to. And once you do get that first corner up and then peel slowly from there, you're going to have no issues with peeling it and sticking it just as it looks. Much like any sticker, these are great for plastics and metals, as well as they're actually pretty good on woods and cardboards as well. Because of the destructible nature of this, the whole sticker doesn't have to actually stick onto the same area of the surface. It can kind of actually bend and conform and actually go into grooves and edges pretty easily. I even have flicks of ones that get into the inner workings of a fire hydrant on each little curve of that edge. These stickers definitely open up a new range of arsenal for surfaces, materials, and now these holographic finishes, come on, you really can't beat it. As I'm sure you can see with the holographic finish, this is a glossy finish sticker. The black sticker is also a glossy finish, however the white is going to be a matte finish. The glossy surfaces work pretty well with paint markers as you can see, you're definitely going to have to wait a little bit longer for them to dry, but by all means if you take it slow and let them layer up and totally dry between layers, you're going to get some pretty sweet results. The glossy surface also works great with some more graffiti oriented markers like the alcohol base that will also stain into the surface. Those seem to work super well. They're super smooth on the surface. I find my tags look even crisper on these surfaces because it's so effortless to move around. Your traditional alcohol based markers like Sharpies and whatnot are probably not the best bet for these. I would definitely opt for some more robust stuff. But by all means, they, they do hold on to the surface, just not as good as paint markers. As for the matte, those are pretty much fair game for most any type of marker. Alcohol markers will work a tad bit better on there, but I definitely still prefer the paint markers as they just hold up their color super nicely, and then it just gives the sticker that extra bit of pop. By all means, not everybody draws their designs, so don't worry, I've got you covered on custom printed stuff as well. I'm going to be offering group oriented print runs, so basically you come in and you get a 3x4 area or a 4x6 area to put your design in, and I'll put together a few different artists to fill the entire area of the sticker, and then print them all together. So I'm not going to waste any time and make this first run on the hologram. It's going to be black ink printed on there. Like I said, I'll have some different sizing options. You can check out my web store for those specifics. As an extra incentive, you're going to get one copy of everybody else's sticker that's also in that run. That not only adds a little bit of diversity into your pack, but it also gets your sticker sent out to 10 or so other people. I'll have more information at the end about how you can submit that design, but be sure to jump on this first run because they might have some extra special stuff set up for it. As you saw with the intro of the video, there was kind of an onslaught of different sizes of these stickers. I've kind of broken them down into a few different sizes, starting off with 3x4s. Those are going to be your perfects for a single character, a little tag, or maybe even a little throw up. Then you're bumping up to 4x4 four four inches, and then 4x5.5 four inches is some of the larger sizes. I love the 4x5.5 four stickers. They're a perfect size for that throwy or even double up to a little bit larger piece. All while being still a good pocket size sticker, so they're easy to manage but still look great and are a nice, nice size. So clearly, I'm drawing on a bigger sticker here, and I've got two other larger sizes that I'll also be offering. So we got 4x11.5, which is basically half the width of this sheet and then all the way through the length. So that's going to be a nice one if you're trying to do something a little bit longer, or maybe if you want something that you can cut into your own sizes. And then the large A4 paper size is what you're seeing right now. That's 8.3 inches by 11.7 inches, so that's a nice solid size. It's going to be perfect if you want to maybe even do some of your own prints or if you want some big kind of just lots of real estate to make your drawings on. I'll have packs split down to 25 stickers apiece but if you order more than one I can offer you a 10% discount with the code multi-pack 
All that information will be on the website, so no sense in rattling it off all here. But be sure to look out for the chrome stuff. And I also have all those same sizes in the black stickers, not to mention an even larger size in the white sticker. I went for the A3 paper size, which is 11.7 by 16 and a half inches, basically double this sheet size right here. So that's absolutely huge. I don't know if anybody but myself is going to be printing on stuff that large, but hey, by all means, it's up there. If you want some huge real estate, cut it up, use every little inch you can. By all means, that's going to be a go-to if you're looking for a big budget buy. And I don't even know if I mentioned the prices to start at this point. Altogether, these packs are coming in at four or five dollars a piece. Four bucks for 25 three by fours of the white, and five bucks for 25 three by fours in the black and the chrome. Those prices are super fair. They're going to come with a pack of assorted other artist stickers and my stickers as well. So you're getting a whole good deal of stuff in there. And as an extra, extra incentive, all the orders throughout this first week are going to be entered into a drawing to win this piece. So I definitely don't mind if you want to enter by ordering one $4 pack just to test these out. I'm super confident in the quality of the stickers and how it's just going to make the durability of anything that you guys make bump it up way tenfold. So be sure to get in on that if you're curious and needed that little extra boost. I know not every sticker that is made is needed to be a super durable, super high quality thing. So don't worry, I've got paper labels over there as well. These are your standard paper stickers, but I've also cut them down to those same sizes that I find useful when drawing stickers. They're going to have nice edges on them so you don't have to hand cut your smaller stickers. And it's going to be a great surface to get you a solid pack at a super cheap price as well. For just 5 bucks, you get a 50 pack of those paper labels and that will take you pretty far. Those obviously work great with literally any marker, so if you don't have some fancy paint markers, by all means, those are going to be your go-to. Now, as you guys know, I'm located in the United States, so shipping in here is always easy and cheap, but international orders definitely have a little cut above on the price point that it is for me to get it out of my country and into yours. I try to hook it up with filling the pack a little bit extra generously because you're getting hit that hard with the shipping labels, but if you are international to the United States, just keep that in mind, I do ship out worldwide, it just might be a little bit extra hair off your back. As I mentioned before, I will offer you that 10% multi-pack discount code on any time you order more than two blank sticker packs. It's a little thank you I can send back to you guys for help and support on a little bit larger scale. You can find all these stickers that I've been mentioning, as well as tons of other artwork and whatnot, at sive.bigcartel.com. That'll be the first link in the description, as well as over there on the end slate of the video. So don't miss out. Head over there, check some stuff out, browse, and enter yourself into this contest. I would definitely have to say that this is probably one of my top 10% stickers that I've ever enjoyed making. This was so much fun getting on there with just the simple white outline, then coming back with that black, then adding on a couple little hits of color on top of that holographic. This was definitely beyond a great time to put together. So this video came about because I just restocked on all my Sive Shell destructible vinyls. These are awesome and super durable out on the streets, great against the buff. And to follow up this little promo video, I'm just going to go through the different sizes and options that I have for these blank stickers. So I've got black, obviously. These are nice gloss finish, similar to the gloss on the holographic. These also have that gloss finish and literally the light reflects off them just so perfectly. You're really going to get some cool effects with this. And then the traditional matte white. I've offered these in the past and they're great with both paint and alcohol based markers. The two gloss finishes you're definitely going to want to use more of a paint based or maybe like a robust graffiti oriented alcohol marker. But all together these are awesome to draw on and a great price. These packs here are my 3x4 size, so 3x4 inches. They come in packs of 25 and they come for 4 bucks in the white and five bucks for either of the two colored. Don't worry though, as the T's at the beginning showed, I got a ton of other sizes. We got four by four, we got four by five and a half. This is probably my favorite size to draw on. Nice solid area for a throwy or even a, a larger tag. Three by fours are perfect for a little character or a tag as well. Four by fours are definitely your go-to for anything square. As you saw with that big sticker I drew on, I've also got some full sheets here. So these are A4 size for the two colored stickers and I actually have A3 size for the white. So if you're unfamiliar with that sizing is basically about eight inches on one end and then about 11 and a half on the other and then ideally black is in the same size and then the white is actually double wide so you're gonna get 11 and a half tall and 16 and a half wide so definitely huge sheets still available as well these obviously price goes up as you get the larger sizes but you could even print on these or get a bunch of big drawings like the one I made now I know everyone's artwork isn't hand-drawn so don't worry I got you covered there with custom prints on this stuff as well the holograms clearly kicking these up once again. These are probably my favorite custom prints I've ever made. Lovebot hit me up and he wanted some custom shell stickers and he challenged me to four different colors. So watch out for a video screen printing all these, but check out how awesome these look. They're basically trading cards on steroids right here. 
So to open up the custom printing end of this, I'm gonna be doing a gang run where you actually buy a small slot in the general big run, and through that you get 100 sticker prints of your design. Now I know everybody's gonna to wanna to jump on the holographic, so I'm gonna start the first gang run on that, and also run a black and white gang run at the same time. So basically what a gang run means is say you got this design, you're gonna buy this little section over here, maybe three by four inches, and for 30 bucks you can get 100 prints of that size. I'm gonna be printing black ink on the holographic, so all one color images for now, and and then I'll just cut them up and send them out to you. So the run might take a week or so to fill up between everybody, but once I do fill all the spaces on it, I'm gonna go through, make the silk screen, and then print it out. So if you're interested in getting some custom prints with that single black on top of the holographic or black on top of white, be sure to check out my web store. Those slots will be filling fast. As well as I'm totally open to full larger scale runs like this with multicolors. You can see the registration is coming out fresh. I got plenty more of these to come down the road. To reiterate how good these are gonna stick to stuff, let's test one out on some cardboard. Look at how easy the chromes are to peel anyways. Solid sticker, presser on there, and let's see how easy it is to get off. So now if you were to go try and peel a sticker off the edge or something, probably you want to start at the corner. Uh oh, can't even get a corner. So by design the stickers are quite brittle, so when you try and get a corner up, you just end up losing that and it cracks off. Leaving this to be an extremely permanent sticker, and the fact that it's vinyl as well means it's also going to stand up to those elements great. Once again, be sure to head over to my web store and check out the custom print options. These are going to be an awesome addition to your arsenal, as well as the blanks. There's cheap, four or five bucks for a pack of 25. You can really bump up the quality and durability of your stickers overnight. And as an extra incentive, I'm going to be putting everybody that places an order throughout the first week into a raffle to win this piece. So hopefully that'll also incentivize grabbing some of these so you get a chance to win this bad boy. This turned out so great it's not going to be easy to part with, so we might see some similar styles come out on the holograms. My website's sive.bigcartel.com, so be sure to head over there and check that out. And if you enjoyed the video, I post stuff like this all the time, whether it's graffiti tutorials, reviews, or little demos like this. So consider joining the crew by subscribing, and maybe even go for that notification crew so you don't miss the next upload. Also be sure to show some love and spray that like button. That's going to do it for me guys. Peace.